such heroic nonsense. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the MK Pro Series 20 CM Model Kit Megatron by Yolo Park. And I know, I know, I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm holding the box like this is because of the fact that it's just too big to fit in camera. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful cover to show off, to not show off, I should say. But anyway, at the top it says, uh, more than meets the eye, the Transformers more than meets the eye. It says chapter one over here. And then right here in the corner, just like a comic book, you have Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave. It says Decepticons, beautiful picture of Megatron on the front. And then if you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it, but the background is almost like a little comic book uh, page that they have on there. Now, this is just a slip cover. Give me a second and I'll get the box situated so you can actually see how this box actually looks. That actually has Megatron inside. Okay, so now this is how the actual box looks. And this is just gorgeous the way they did this right here. I mean, Megatron's holding the earth in his hand. I mean, it's just, you know, the, the, the white outline and everything else is just all black except for the Decepticon symbol in purple. And as you can see, it says Yellow Park Megatron. Beautiful, beautiful looking box. Now, I'm going to get the figure out. And I'm going to show you how he comes in the little trays. And, and, then, and then we'll get into taking a look at the figure itself. Okay, so this is the first top tray right here. And this is how Megatron comes inside. He's all in pieces because of the fact that this is considered a model kit, not a figure. All right, so that's the first tray with everything in it. Underneath that tray... You get a nice booklet uh, from Yellow Park and it tells you how to put everything together with pictures of Megatron inside. It tells you how everything works, the batteries that you need for, for him, which we will go over all that. But cool stuff. So here's the, the one side. That is quite blurry, isn't it? So here's the one side of the actual book and then here's the actual other side. So very, very cool stuff. And in the lower tray, we have all these other goods. I don't know how well it's coming through because my light is actually kind of putting a glare on the, the plastic. But we will take a look at all the stuff that are in these trays. So how about we actually get Megatron and this stuff out and let's get to building them. Okay, so now I have all of Megatron's pieces. Not everything that he comes with, but all of Megatron's pieces out here in front. And before we actually get into putting him together, I just want to go over a couple of things real quick. Because when you look in, in the actual book, it's going to tell you uh, the type of batteries that you're going to need for um, Megatron's head. And the funny thing is, is that to get his eyes to light up, you're going to need these batteries right here. Okay. And these are the uh, CR927s. So definitely you're going to need... A set of these and also you're gonna need these for his fusion cannon if you guys can see them so you want to order these they're not expensive order them off of Amazon they're only a couple dollars each but definitely you're gonna need these for the fusion cannon because you're gonna need two of these for the fusion cannon and one of the others for his actual head to get the eyes to light up Okay, so now with that being said, I just want to say another thing too. I want to give a shout out to Yolo Park because I've never ordered from these guys before. And I seen that, you know, look, they had Megatron going for an Optimus. And I, I got I have Optimus, which he'll be coming up next. But my thing was was that I've never ordered from these guys before. And to get them, they were only what $45 on their site to get it shipped directly to you. So when they had charged my card, I went and, um, you know, it said you can track it. So I started tracking it. And like two days after or three days after they charged my card, I, I went to check the tracking because, you know, I'm not going to check it right away. But right when I went to to check it, it said it was delivered. And I'm like, what do you mean delivered? So I, you know, I sent a message out to Yolo Park and they got back to me immediately. Right. They got back to me uh, the next day. They said, you know, look. Your order went through. No, it has not been delivered. So that was awesome of them, you know, to, to, to keep in contact with me. 
uh, to and, and get back to me in a, a timely manner, which they did. I mean, it was like right away. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my case in point was was that um, because it is coming from Hong Kong, definitely be patient, especially if you never ordered from them before. Trust me, they're good. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to them and they will get back to you. No ands, ifs, or buts about that situation whatsoever. So shout out to them for being awesome and being patient with me and, and, and actually walking me through considering the fact that, like I said, I've never ordered from them before. And they were just really cool about the whole situation. Um, you know, and they told me that, you know, everything was going through QC and, and that, you know, as soon as they, you know, was ready to ship, they'll let me know. And that's exactly what happened. So, you know, that's that. But anyway, here we are. So let's get into putting this bad boy together and let's take a look at him. Let's talk about this guy and yeah, let's do it. Throw away your dice, 
I had him do the whole, you know, thing on the uh, revolving stand so you can see how he looked all together. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I wasn't going to, I was going to put them all together and then do it. But I was like, you know what, let me just show off on how you can put them together. It's probably been done a thousand times before I got this guy. Now, I, I've had this guy for a little bit of time. And yeah, I, I had some other reviews I had to get done first. But finally... I got him in, I decided to do him, so here he is, and, and I mean, he's absolutely awesome. I mean, look at him, he's, he's really cool. Now, taking a look at Megatron here, and yeah, I mean, the sculpt alone, I mean, <clears throat> looking at the fact that he is dirty and he has some pitting going on in his armor and, and the scrapes on his paint and on his knees and down here on his legs and his feet, have um, this other pitting that's going on and his arms and the side of his chest here and even on his face right even on his head right here you can still see that he has some some pitting going on right here that's really cool his fusion cannon is all scraped up and and, and everything i like the way they did that they you know not so clean i mean does he beat out my masterpiece megatron no but is this one really cool looking? Absolutely. Absolutely. Am I happy with them? Yes. Do I have a little bit of a pet peeve with the hands? Yeah, because they're like really long fingered, but it's not a big deal. It's not going to break the bank when it comes to it. But this guy here, as far as the dirt, the dinge, all that stuff. I mean, you know, what is this remnants of the cosmic rust that, that you see on his hull here? The Decepticon symbol beautifully put on here. And of course, as we all know, this is a Hasbro licensed product. So yeah, and then his arm here. Now, all I did was I turned his arm over and then turned the fist to give him that straight down look with the fusion cannon, like you see him sometimes that he has. Beautiful, beautiful. The original Megatron, they did a beautiful job with him. Absolutely just beautiful. Remember, like he said in the cartoon, we don't rust. <laughs> so, you know, the pitting and all that stuff, Fabulous. Now, a few things I want to show off um, when, when it comes to the articulation is, is the arm. So that arm can move out just fabulous, just like that. And then and then and then his 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 swivel right here that he has to bring his arm out. I mean, that is just crazy. So let me just you do this with a fusion can inside. If I bring his arm up, bring it out, right? And and he's very light. I just want to say he's very, very light. So um, I'm being very cautious with him because of the fact that, that he's very light. But if you wanted to bring his fusion cannon out like that, you can do so if you want to pose him in a, in a certain pose. You're probably going to get that pose. I would just be careful because that kind of weirds me out because you don't have that tight hinge when it's all out like that to, to turn it. So just be careful because he, like I said, he's very light. But over, overall turn his hand over and I know I have his hand facing the wrong way you can get him standing here like this blasting and I'm just I'm not going to really pose him out and stuff like that but he is articulated to where you will be able to get some of these cool poses with Megatron and yes his his fingers are all whatever but you know I'll fix that when off camera and whatever whatnot now what I want to talk about is that if you pull this off the back just gently grab it, <laughs> pull it out, take it with the magnet here at the bottom, tap it. His eyes are on, hit it again, they flash, and then this one here. That reminds me of like when he gets angry at Starscream. 
or when he shows his hate for Prime, and then boom, they go they go back out. That that's pretty neat. And then and then back off. So that's that's cool that they they added that in there. Uh, the the fact that if you take his fusion cannon, let's get old Megatron, like he's gonna just stand sideways and shoot you. You press the button on top of the fusion cannon here, and it lights up nice and red, which is really nice. And then turn it back off. So. I think that's a great addition as well. I mean, for a model kit, you can't go wrong. And then here too, if you want to remove his 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 fusion cannon, just pop that off. It comes right off his arm. And then I would suggest pushing the peg out because that peg is in there a little bit tight. At least it is on mine. Now the other cool thing is is the accessories that he comes with. So let let me get those out because I do have them uh, put away. <laughs> So let me grab those real quick, and then that way we can take a look, and I'll get him better situated. And that way we can take a look at the accessories, do a couple comparisons, and then this review, because I know it's getting a little long, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be gone over. First, I want to start with this faceplate of Megatron's here. So he comes with three different faceplates. The one that's on him, a laughing one, and then this one here, which is like an alternate, uh, or it is, you know, I want to say it's almost kind of like uh, his damaged faceplate because it looks like he's leaking out of the sides of his mouth, or this is supposed to be like the vintage toy. I'm not sure what they were trying to do with this one, but uh, it's pretty cool looking. And next we have, of course, we have Megatron's laughing face. And this one's pretty cool. So you have that. And each one of these, before I forget, each one of these just peg in so you gotta kind of slide it out and then you just slide the next face in. So besides the one that he already has on him, you can pick and choose on what you wanna use, which is cool. Then of course we have a die cast key to Vector Sigma. I like the fact that they put the, the uh, uh, you know, the, the, the dark brush tones on there to get the key to stand out when it comes to uh, everything. You know, you can see like the dirt element in it and stuff like that. So. Very well done with that. And if you guys don't remember in this episode, uh, you know, he used this key to turn everything on uh, Earth to like metal and so on and so forth. Next we have this gun. Now this is the blaster that he used that he found laying behind that rock in the movie that brought Prime down. And a lot of people say this is his gun. This is not his gun. He turned into a gun. He has his fusion cannon, but he had lost his fusion cannon in the battle. And uh, yeah, so this was the gun that he picked up to take Prime out with. And next is the laser sword that he picks up to use to carve that mortal wound into the side of Optimus Prime in the Transformers movie. Yes. <laughs> so... This was cool too, because he found this on the ground because his fusion cannon got knocked off his arm in that battle when he got slammed into that wall by Prime. Uh, and then did, you know this had fallen. So you go back and watch it, you'll see it, because it, it falls in the background. Uh, you'll see when his fusion cannon gets knocked off, you'll see this fall to the ground and he picks it up and then he just starts cutting into Prime with it. So, um, you know, it's cool that they added that in. And then we have the one and only use of the Energon Mace that he used in, uh, I think it was like the third episode or whatever. But this just pegs into, you know, you take the hand off and this will just peg in. And yes, it's articulated so you can move it however you want. And you can relive that one battle that they had on top of Sherman Dam uh, back in the day. So that, that that's cool that they threw that in there. I know uh, there are a couple Megatrons out there that come with the Mace and it's like, I think it's like just a regular chain or this is just, you know, a plastic chain, it's just all loose, and they did it like this so you can actually get some kind of articulation out of it. So, you know, that's cool. And then last but not least, we have the crushed chest plate of Megatron. Of course, this is plastic. This is your die cast piece on him right here, is that chest plate there and his feet. That's the only spots that are actually die cast on the actual figure. And then this just kind of slides off. It's really easy. It's pegged on right here. I love the detail that they have in there. I love the fact that even though he's still busted up, you can still see where, you know, the dirt and everything and the dinge is. But 
let me see if I can do this right now while we're, we're sitting here. So you just, you know, you're going to grab him. And you're just going to kind of, <laughs> there you go. It slides off really easy. And then you can just pop this on. Not upside down, that's for sure. Just pop it on. And there you go. Now you have Megatron with his busted plate. And it would have been cool if they would have added the 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 face plate that you know the damaged face plate where he's leaking out of his eyes and his and his mouth, like in the movie. That would have been that would have been pretty cool. But they didn't. And you know, look, I'm not I'm not harping on them for it. Now it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> All right, I'll fix that in a minute. But yeah. So anyway, this this. This is the metal, and of course, you still have all the design on the inside. Why they chose to make plastic, uh, you know, and then this just a little tiny piece of, uh, you know, the die cast, I have no idea. But like I said, and, and then the feet. So when they say die cast, yeah, there's die cast in them, only a couple spots. And then, of course, the key to Vector Sigma. All right, so, um, and, and last but not least, I don't want to forget, and before I do, is his stand. And now this stand here, of course, you know, you hook it around his waist and then you, you know, put him wherever you want. You have to undo this screw if you want to move this down on any one of these pegs. It is it's supposed to be articulated here. Mine doesn't want to move. It's really tight, but it will move. And then, you know, up here, this open and closes. It doesn't turn freely. Um, you have the Decepticon symbol down here at the base. And I like the fact that they added, like, you know, the, the, the Cybertronian type of stuff there you know when it comes to uh metal or you know what i'm trying to say like the the look of the planet or 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 their base whichever one you have two other peg holes where you can move this around to and then this clips on to another base so i do have optimus which i will do a review on uh you know the, the his can clip to this and you can have you know eventually you know it just spans out but it's cool it's 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 uh you know it's a stand, that's for sure. All right, guys. So let's get in and take a look at some comparisons and see how he compares to some other figures in the in other lines. And here's how the Yellow Park Megatron compares to a masterpiece laser beak. And here's how Megatron compares to the DC Multiverse Captain Carrot. Here's how Megatron compares to Jaded Toy Street Fighter Ultra Ken. Here's how Megatron compares to the NECA Toys Last Ronin Raphael. Last but not least, here's how Megatron compares to three zeros, Rodimus Prime. All right, so now that's how he compares to a couple other figures that I had out. And listen, I mean, as you can see, he, you know, he fits into that seven, eight inch scale, but he's Megatron. You can put him wherever you want. No matter what you want to do, I mean, he's yours. You can put him wherever you want, however you want. The cool thing is, is that if you are, look, I have the Masterpiece Megatron and he is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that he can transform and that he can turn into his gun mode and everything else. And he's just beautiful. This Megatron here does not transform and he is absolutely beautiful. I love what Yellow Park has done and what they have brought to the table with these figures. Now, are they 100% you know um like a masterpiece? No. Are they damn near close to being um without the transforming element in there uh, as far as you know the detail uh, and, and stuff? Yes. Articulation wise, yes, he he can move. You can put this guy into some poses, I bet like you would not believe and I know this video is a little lengthy, but he did come with a few things and I did do things a little bit different. So I do apologize for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Now, as you can see, Laser Peak still fits on his arm and he's still within the same, um, you know, Laser Beak is not bigger than he is. So, I mean, he still fits in. So that's actually really cool that you can use a Masterpiece Laser Beak with the Yolo Park Megatron. And if you didn't pick up a, 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 a Masterpiece Megatron and you're not going to, because the prices are probably like crazy, or if you are, then fine. But if you're just looking to get a Megatron on your shelf and, and, and you want one that's as cartoon accurate as the G1, this is the one for a reasonable price. I mean, $45, man, that that's fabulous. Fabulous. 
you know, plus shipping and stuff like that. Now, I got this straight from Yolo Park, so that's how you're going to get it. If you get it off a big bag toy store, uh, it's going to cost you around 60 something uh, you know. So, I mean, I, I got it straight from Yolo Park. Yes, it's going to take some time to get to you, but you will eventually get it. Very light. To me, uh, moving him around, articulation, you know, the articulation on this guy... Um, I should say the yeah, the articulation of him, the way he moves. To me, it's a little stiff, but that's just me. He has some great joints like the shoulder, how it comes out, and how uh, it actually comes out even further to get it to go across the chest. The way the fusion cannon can come off, the hands open and close. Yeah, not every finger's you know jointed individually these are all together this one's by itself and then you have the thumb that's okay but the hand pops off you can put on the other accessories the skirts move thigh swivels double knee joints single arm but yet you still get a great bend out of it the fact that he comes with the lights for the fusion cannon uh and and for his eyes that's awesome uh you know i could say it'd be great if they would have just included you know some different lenses for his eyes but you know look that's the whole point though, right? You put the batteries in it, you tap it with this, you turn it on if that's what you wanted. If you don't, you don't. Um, toe hinges, ankle pivots, all that good stuff this guy has. And you can definitely, definitely waist swivel, rocker side to side, all that good stuff for 45 bucks and plus the tax, whatever the case is, that's not a bad deal whatsoever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on the Yolo Park Megatron model kit. Sorry for the camera shaking. I'm just using a different stand because he is kind of tall and, you know, he's a little bit more above my display than what I want him to be. But anyway, with that being said, please like, subscribe, share, and as always, leave a comment down below. Please hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, but no matter where you are, I will catch you all on the flippity flip.